My name is Zorina Gallas. I'm the Chief of Vascular Biology and Hypertension Branch at the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute. And I am attending the International Academy of Cardiology uh, 2018 session, which is taking place in Boston. I just presented uh, a short talk that was entitled, What if we had a Google map of the human vasculature? Um, in this talk, I uh, had three main uh, uh, goals. One was to briefly uh, delineate. Stop it. Yeah. I, I have too much. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, are you going to cut the. Uh, you can. You can either start from the beginning or you can. No, just back. from the, the perfect. talk. Perfect. Yeah? Whenever okay. So, in this talk, I had three main purposes. The first one was to briefly remind the audience the reasons for which we engaged in this effort several years ago. Uh, the other one was to update them on the state of the uh, effort and then also to collect input, which I think is going to be essential for a successful um, project. So a couple of years ago, also at one of the sessions of the International Academy of uh, uh, Cardiology, I uh, briefly uh, reviewed the reasons for which we still have a lot of unanswered questions in cardiology. We believe that uh, there are several uh, potential barriers and very briefly just to uh, mention uh, three of them. One is the fact that the blood vessels, especially small blood vessels, uh, may be too small to keep in mind uh, even uh, during uh, uh, research uh, projects or practice. So many times we tend to forget how important they actually uh, are for the health of the entire body. The second one is the fact that they are very complex. So we have a variety of um, different structures and uh, a, a variety of functions that they have to perform, but many times these are studied in isolation. So for instance, if you have to consult um, a person in relation to your hypertension, you will probably go and see a variety of doctors. Somebody will know about the kidney, somebody will know uh, maybe about your heart, or things that are happening in your head. So we have a fragmentation of knowledge because most of these specialists train uh, and perform uh, their daily activities in different departments and even attend separate meetings. Um, this is not one of them. This is one meeting at which many different specialties are, are uh, coming together. So I think that's a, a good opportunity to uh, emphasize the need to work together. So the solutions that uh, we, we came up with a few years back were to try to integrate the knowledge about the vasculature from various uh, organs and uh, perspectives and to put together something that uh, we called the vasculum, which is an integrated view of the cardiovascular uh, system. And in order to support this, we thought we could develop something that looks like the Google map of the human vasculature that would be uh, integrated across various scales, so from the microscopic level of uh, vascular cells to the clinical imaging of the vasculature, and have different dimensions, just like in Google you can look for uh, Google Maps in uh, Earth uh, mode, uh, and you can also look uh, in traffic mode. So uh, presenting functional and structural information, and uh, also uh, have the capability to navigate between different points. So we presented this at several uh, uh, meetings and at the level of the NIH, and the good news is that this idea was uh, approved for funding by one of the common fund uh, initiatives, uh, but we were also asked to expand it to the idea of mapping the entire human body. So uh, the program is called the Human Biomolecular Atlas Program, or HubMap, and it's going to start funding uh, soon, uh, as soon as uh, September or October. We'll have our first uh, awards being made. and. 
one uh, very important uh, piece of information is to find out how the data that's going to be generated and open to the entire community will help improve research and uh, medical practice. So that was another um, reason for my, my talk. I presented a few uh, new um, discoveries that are now fueled by new technologies and I invite everybody to look into uh, new technologies such as single cell analysis that's allowing us to understand the variability even within the same uh, cell types such as endothelial cells and therefore uh, we will try to integrate that into a map of the vasculature that will go from the capillaries, the smallest, uh, the smallest structure to the largest uh, vessels of, uh, of the human body and we'll use this as the roadmap for the entire uh, map of the human body.